Hi, I'm Diane at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls. And this message is a little bit more on parenting and how you can let go of your children because in truth, you don't own them. I work with a lot of young adults and older adults that are like crippled because they want to live through their parents' eyes because their parents haven't really kicked them out of the nest and allowed them to be who they are in truth and not a smaller version of the parents. So when they're babies, of course, we're in full responsibility and then they get a little older and we pull back on responsibilities. Let them start to navigate to be who they are organically supposed to be. And then the older they get, the more we pull back. And the, the young adults that I work with, they have so much fear about going against their parents and their parents have too much control over them. So if I had a son and he called me up and said, I'm moving to Alaska, I'm in California. Do I want him to move to Alaska? No, but is it my business? No. So I'm going to deal with my insecurities, my want to have him close. But I'm going to realize that I can't say no to his dreams. I don't want to clip his wings and keep him close to me if that is what he really desires. A lot of parents are like, you're supposed to have kids. You're supposed to get married. You're supposed to do this. You're supposed to do that. And do you see now that that is you projecting onto them and they're old enough to really kind of figure out what's going to be best for them? And when you do that, you're in your own programs. And your old programs were probably from your parents. And, and so they're 50, 60, 70 years old. And it doesn't make sense anymore. I remember years back when my daughter and her boyfriend at dinner sat down and said, oh, we're moving to Chico. And I'm like, okay. And I, I corrected myself because I want to say no. But if, if she was 14, I could say, no, you're not. But they're young adults on their own. And I just took a breath and I said, tell me more. Do you need any boxes? Do you need any kitchen stuff? What do you need? Because I want to respect them and let them be who they want to go out and figure out. And if I would have said no, they would have maybe still moved. And that would have tarnished our open relationship of love. I grew up disappointing my parents. I'll just flat out say it that way. And I wanted to do this and they said no. And I and I couldn't do this and I couldn't do that. And then when I finally started breaking free of their limited beliefs of who I should be, I lost a lot of their love. Can you imagine when I when I went out and got a motorcycle? I mean, they were upset. And I'm like, I'm a grown-ass woman. I have money. And they still made me feel bad, made me feel guilty. They don't have a right to do that. That's not what love is. So don't do that with your kids. What they do may not make sense to you, but it's their path. Don't make it small. Don't make them get over onto your boat that's probably too small for yourself, or you wouldn't be doing that to your kids. Not necessarily that fun or exciting, or you would want to see fun and exciting in them. I know I could get more love from my mom if I reduce myself to be what she wants me to be. But I'll tell you, at that point, love costs too much. I Nobody in my family has tattoos, but me and I have tattoos. Well, I'll tell you, she was pretty upset with that one. And I was over 40 years old, I'm not asking her for tattoo money. And I shouldn't have to ask her for permission and to still love me if I stood outside 
of her beliefs and my sister's beliefs. So pay attention now to your children. If they want to relocate, get some moving bags for them, get some boxes. If they don't want to be an engineer and they want to be a musician, let them. I want you to see love and joy and happiness in them and not just the need to grind. In a parking lot years ago, I met a guy, we started talking, of course. He was a dentist. Now that takes a lot of years to become a dentist. And finally, after 10 years of being a dentist, he ripped the diploma off the wall, took it to his parents' house, threw it on the table, and said, this was your dream, it was never mine. And he was like 40 at that point. He wanted to be, a, I think, a music mixer or something. And now he's happy. So don't hover over your children. Help them explore this thing called life. And yeah, it may not be the right decision. They'll learn, they'll regroup. But don't take away their excitement about life and their opportunities. Trust me, I don't want my children to live a small life and fear that they're going to lose my love because I think they should be doing something else. That is beyond ridiculous. If you need help with that separation, then let's do some work. And if you have been living in that fear of disappointing, let's do some work. Because nobody should be clipping your wings. They should be your best supporters. That's what I want for our children. And that's what I want for us too. So hopefully this makes sense. And if it doesn't, you may need to watch it a couple of times. Because maybe your ego is starting to come up. And there's a point in time where you realize that we do not own our children. We get them for a short amount of time under our wing. And then hopefully we do such a damn good job that they take flight. And then we're just going to absolutely love and enjoy watching them expand their own consciousness their own path and to be more. So if you need help, then I'm 100% your gal. Thank you, I'm Diane at Healing Bodies, Healing Souls, wanting you to actually look to see what your behaviors do and your actions do, if they give them flight or if they cripple them. Something to think about.